as a CTO myself, I love to give programming assignments to the people that are basically willing to join the Lavenue uh, organization to work as an engineer. Because I think giving them the freedom to solve a problem in their own habitat is basically the way to go instead of overburdening them with questions on a live interview. But still, people make a lot of mistakes submitting these assignments and it's not so to say that they cannot solve the problem. I think that's most of the time it's fine. The problem basically is the tooling and everything around that that is a big problem. You need to understand that there are a lot of people submitting these assignments and we as uh, lead developers or CTOs, we need to skim through them very fast. And that's where the problem starts. So in this video, we're gonna cover actually the three most common interview assignment mistakes that I see every day. Hey you, if you wanna level up as a software engineer, I have some amazing news for you. I have created the Total Coder community, especially for those who are tired of those boring courses that don't lead you anywhere. At Total Coder, you'll gain access to real world projects, mini courses, and exclusive insights and live videos into how we've built Lavenue a million dollar company I have co-founded three years ago. Every week I'll present a new real world programming assignment for you to tackle and I will release a video showcasing my approach solving it. On top of that, each week there will be a private live session where I answer all your questions and review your resume and projects. If this sounds something for you, I'm happy to see you at the totalcoder.com. What are you waiting for? I see you at the totalcoder.com. The first problem we're gonna have is Number three is afraid to ask questions, right? So I can I understand a lot of people try to basically showcase their skills and they try to do it on their own or they, they are afraid to ask any questions because they're gonna think that they're gonna be, that they're gonna look like somebody with less experience, but that's not true. The, most of my assignments are basically being written in such a way that things are unclear. Right. If somebody tries to solve my assignments without asking any questions, it's going to be, it's not going to be good, 100%. And I see still that people try to do that. They're going to basically invent some new things. They're going to look to Google. They're going to do so much things and it's going to be wrong. Asking questions is basically a part of the assignment. We need to know that you can actually ask the right questions, that you're not afraid to ask questions. We also want to see like, what kind of questions you ask to come to the solution, to come to the answer on your question. It's very, very important. A lot of other companies, CTOs, lead developers, are basically creating their assignments in such a way that they are very fake most of the time that people really need to come and step up to ask any questions. So do not forget to ask questions. Ask more questions than needed is way better than ask no questions at all. Right. So number two, also, a very, very common problem. 80% of the time, people are over-engineering. The assignment is a very simple, straightforward task, and they feel that they can complete it in a very good time frame, and then they start to over-engineer. They start to overthink. They start to come up with more packages than needed. They, they come up with so many crazy things that I see, and even it happened to me when I was younger that I was over-engineering so much of these assignments to look good, right? To give them the impression that I'm actually very good by over-engineering the whole shebang. And that's a very, very common problem. Don't not do that. Keep things very simple. Keep it straight to the point. Keep it so simple. Focus on the problem you need to solve and keep it straight forward right and now we come to the most common mistake that i think that people are making and that's basically running the application right what do i mean by that is you need to understand that if a company is looking for engineers especially right now in the job market is basically a little bit of over flooded a lot of people will try to apply and the problem is that you can imagine that we have a, that i need to and not only me, but a lot of other the developers, CTOs, whatever, whoever is going to review the assignment, we need to skim, we need to look through a lot of these submissions, right? Sometimes there is some kind of a database interaction or some third party interaction. And that basically means that we, we need to set up MongoDB or, or a PostgreSDB or something else or a Kafka or a, a Nets or a Redis. And the assignment actually is pretty well done, right? The, they solved the problem, everything is nice. 
but I need to install all that bullshit, right? I do not always have a Redis available. I do not always have a Kafka available. Then I need to spin up some Docker containers myself, configuring all these environment variables. That's just BS, right? And that's the biggest problem that I see. You need to make sure, you need to make 100% sure that it's just like one press, that me or somebody else can just do one press, a Docker Compose or something, or a Docker file, whatever, something that you can just, everybody has Docker these days, so make it with a Docker Compose file where everything get basically boots up, your Redis, your database, your Kafka, whatever needs to be booted up, that that runs in Docker containers, so we only need to do, bam, one click, maybe a make file or something that's being documented, and the whole shebang is booting up. Because even though your solution is the best of the best, right, it's clear, it's nice, it's tight, it's lean and mean, you're the best. But if I need to spend one hour figuring out how I need to boot everything up, I'm going to put you a little bit on the side. I'm going to say, okay, wait, I'm going to do this tonight. I have no time for that. Let me try to run uh, somebody else's application, right? And yeah, this is basically decreasing your chance of being picked for the next step, right? So it's very, 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 very important to make sure that the people that need to review your assignment, that they can just click snap and everything is running. And of course, do not forget to put everything in a nice readme. Very short video, but a very important video because a lot of people are basically on the job market, want to get hired. There's a lot of overflot of people trying to take your place, you know what I mean? Compete with you. So if you want to have a step ahead, make sure these three most common mistakes or basically not yours. Thanks for watching this video and I'm looking forward to see you in one of my other videos or live streams. Bye-bye.